that <laughs> Drake tough. sent a cease and desist over like that, and then Tupac's <laughs> estate went through with that cease and desist, that's a point on the board. But I don't really give a fuck about that point. Again, back to the conversation about uh, like who's the a, better man. Yeah, being mm-hmm. a man. I also heard about how Drake and other people, because I won't just put this solely on Drake, right? Mm-hmm. Just having rap beef where you're soliciting information out of others. Mm-hmm. To get up on a nigga. He's talking about like, bro, I could never, I would never. I got a son. See, that 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 cuts deep when you know Drake got a son too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, what are you are you trying to say that? I wonder what it feels like to be like a father and have someone literally like rap about like, yo, you're you're not a good father. Yeah. Like that must hurt. Like you're not taking care of your seed. That's that crazy. must hurt. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, because especially he knows how much he loves Adonis. Like, you know, like I don't know. But that's just me being a softy. But I'm just thinking, nah, nah, nah. I'm really thinking about like, yo, what if someone called me a bad dad? Like that would hurt. Nah, um, anyway. he likes being a bachelor. Not his, not his fault though. Not but he's his... probably a great dad to Adonis. Yeah, and a lot of that is probably centered around you know he was trying to shoot at his last project, well Kendrick's last project, mm-hmm. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, where he did insinuate about having affairs, um, uh, maybe outside of his marriage, mm-hmm. and you know just some of the discrepancies he's had to work through as a man, even while having his father mm-hmm. in his life. Mm-hmm. So I guess for Kendrick, it's more like all right, cool. You, you, I could, I, I'll say this. What's impressive about this before you play it is his ability to, I, I control like how you troll Drake. I might not do the Instagram games or the mm-hmm. Twitter and all of that shit, but I control on records the same way you do, but mm-hmm. also show up as a 36 year old man I am. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and that's where it's a double edged sword. And to your point, yeah. I think that's the bag he's going to have to get into if we reach another round. Because Drake did say on the Telemay Freestyle, he said, yo, I'm, I'm waiting. As soon as you drop, I'm dropping. Yeah, he cooking right now. He legit said, as soon as you drop that shit you're going to drop, I'm dropping. And if he drops again, I think that's going to force Kendrick to do what it is that he said he's going to do. And it's going to have to go to political beliefs. It's going to have to go to religion. It's going to have to go deeper than just calling somebody a white boy. It's going to yeah. have to go mm-hmm. to the background. It's going to have to go to the people that you haven't helped, the people you haven't spoke to. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to have to go there if yeah. it's going to be anything, which is why, again, and I'm not like, I, I am biased because I fuck with Drake more, yeah. but I respect Kendrick and I respect what he does and I respect what he stands for, especially as a black man, seeing him take his art to the highest level and win, winning all these awards while speaking to a message. Like I can appreciate that, but I can also appreciate being in the club, popping bottles and smoking hookah with some baddies. Like yeah. what the fuck? When I go to Reggie's birthday party, I want to hear Drake. I think, but sorry. <laughs> like, so I can see both, right? Yeah, for sure. There, yeah. There's a duality there. Mm-hmm. There's two sides. There's a nuance when listening to both of these people but when it comes to kendrick's raps or or song let me not say his raps Mm -hmm. when it comes to this song in particular i'm just like all right i know there's more there for Mm -hmm. kendrick Mm -hmm. and he didn't give me much you know what i'm saying like for me as somebody who has heard joe budden diss drake for four songs straight (laughs) without a response somebody who heard uh, uh um Push your teeth. Go like but I've you would heard agree. a lot of this stuff. But you would agree that you missed a lot. In uh, the no, song, for sure. Right? I'm, and I'm not saying and it's not that your I fault. Everything. And not yeah. your fault though, because it's very layered in for that sure. sense. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this shit dropped like two hours ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so don't mind us, y'all. So Alex, there's still things for me to pick up. Alex, what? Yeah. What's up? Alex just inadvertently call you dumb. That's crazy. No, I did not inadvertently call nigga dumb. Because I admitted on this shit and said, "Yo, on the first ball, I was like, I missed that." Yeah, yeah. Beat that. We're gonna beat that nigga up after we finish. Crazy, bro. Like, we beat that nigga right on yeah. up. But no, I get what you're saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. and that's what the best do. That's what Hove was one of the greatest to ever do that. Big was one of the greatest to ever do that. Like, right. they'll say something and then you won't catch it until you hear it a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh time. Type shit. And so I think maybe that's when it'll really resonate with me when I'm like, holy shit, I was able to dissect every single bar and get every single meaning out of every single line. But on the first few listens, I'm like, all right, the things that stuck out to me are things that I've already heard. Yeah. It's nice to hear Kendrick actually say it because, again, the gloves is off. I know who your target is. But you didn't really go where I think you could go, where I think you will go, and, and, and what I think is going to take for you to actually be like, yo, I'm, like I'm, I won. it's over. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like They both just keep sending warning shots, waiting for somebody to throw a haymaker. Mm-hmm. 
And I don't know, save all. It feels like that. This, this one, is, this one feels a little like even it feels not, like a haymaker. I will no, agree. No, no, no. This does not feel like it doesn't a haymaker. Feel, it doesn't feel I, like I think it's a yeah. good distract, but I don't yeah. think it's a haymaker. I, I don't think this is the final punch to no. knock a okay. nigga straight and on the all, floor. I think that's all he's saying. Yeah, 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 no, no. I, I want to be very clear on that. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's what this is either. Mm -hmm. What I am saying that though is it did damage. It did a lot of damage for it to be his solo diss track again, and how layered it is, even to the title of this motherfucker. Euphoria, bro. Like you, you're going very, <laughs> like we, like you said, we know where else he can go, mm -hmm. and we're probably going to see it in the next round. Mm. But you don't, you don't think he has more, Reggie? No, no, no. Oh, I don't, I don't mean. No. I didn't mean like. Uh, I meant like. Oh shit. Oh shit. Like. <laughs> yeah. uh oh. <laughs> I know it's coming. Yeah, 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 I know it's coming. If, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. Kendrick does what Savon says and bro. you know hits that political and that racial part, I because Drake, Drake has never done it before. He's never spoken to. The plight of Black America, uh, and some of the stuff that's been going on in Black America. So if Kendrick does go to that, it's gonna be interesting. To see he got that. he got to be careful now yeah. because I love all of that shit, but he has the chance to lose a lot of people going down he there. Who? Uh, Kendrick. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, because I was just thinking he, he the thing that's gonna make this great. Like one of them have to crash out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're both gonna crash. One out. of them have to, yeah. like, legit put their name oh, yeah. on the line and yeah. say something that's gonna offend not just that person, but a lot of fucking people. Kendrick offended a lot of people with this shit, with a the sex, with the sexy red shit. You know, they, they were trying to insinuate that there was some uh, phobia in that, or wait, what? When he said Drake be tuning, he might tune his booty up when he, we didn't get to that. <laughs> yeah, part. but like, how is that like like wait, homophobia think, or anything? Just think about it. <laughs> Nah, explain that ball. Just think about no, it. No, because he's explain saying like, no, ball, but he's basically like, saying that people, Drake wants to be a bad bitch. I've seen people on Twitter say, wow, like, why would you oh, exclude him? Why would you try to exclude him from even if he wanted to do that with Sexy Red? <laughs> Oh. No, I mean, See what like, I'm getting at? Uh, uh, whatever. Like, I think the bar was like, "Yo, you stand next to two girls like Sexy Red. You Loki want to be one of the bad bitches." Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good shot because Loki oh, Drake yeah. do be fucking like doing kissy lips on his you, selfies and shit. What's so. crazy? Is, I don't know if y'all have like any homegirls yeah. that have said, "Yo, I love Drake." Not in a way where I want to be with Drake. I, I want just want to be my bestie. Yeah, I <laughs> want to be like one of the girls. Like I've heard that so many times. He does about, seem silly like, and quirky. That's the energy that he puts out in, into the world. Especially yeah. like we had a running mm -hmm. joke for like at least a year on this podcast about his duck lip selfie shit. Mm -hmm. It's very <laughs> awkward. And he shaved a heart on his head. <laughs> I'm That's, not against it, but I'm saying like it, I see. Why I get Kendrick, it. Like you know, I see like, where you going, bro. I like, see why Kendrick took that angle and ran with it. Like. So, I yeah. think it's funny. I I understand why people could drag it to be like, oh my god, homophobia, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. But like, I need, I need yeah. because both of them keep calling out the industry. So there was a line in here where Kendrick says um, something about fuck the industry. Yeah, and then in, ta in the Taylor May freestyle, Drake also says uh, along the lines of the line of saying fuck the industry. So both of them are calling out the machine and the industry. Obviously, both of them work alongside the machine, which is why they're the two biggest hip hop artists in the world right now. Yeah. But it's going to take one of them to literally crash out and burn the machine down for somebody to actually win, in my opinion. Like, Yo, Kendrick called him a lame when money is still a lame. No, that's cool. <laughs> and that's cool. Like, it, it, that's, that's cool. But I need like a real crash. Out. Like, I, you might want to mark this. I don't know. I need Kendrick Lamar yeah. to shoot at Drake. That leads to DJ Khaled. That leads to... That leads to... It. I need oh a my real God. I, hate this. I, I need a crash I hate out. This. I need we these niggas to burn yeah, bridges. <laughs> Yo. I want to hear a. <laughs> <laughs> that, He's like, going. He keeps going. We Can't need to that, yeah. burn this shit down. <laughs> like you Yo. want literally like a world war. <laughs> like I literally need them to burn. I need them to sacrifice, <laughs> risk careers, bro. Like, is what else do you have to lose at this point? <laughs> Y'all are already goaded. The only way one of them is going to win is if they put their life on the line. And when I say their life, not physically, musically. 